Hi, Paxi. My name is Thomas Pesquet and I'm an astronaut on board the International Space Station. Today I want to tell you a bit about satellites. Have you heard of satellites, Paxi? In space, we call a natural or human-made object that orbits a larger body than itself a satellite. Our moon is an example of a natural satellite. The moon is a small and natural object that orbits around a larger object, or Earth. The moon that we see every night in the sky is Earth, one and only natural satellite, and without it, our daily lives on Earth would significantly change. Hey Paxi, did you know that some of the other planets have moons too? Some are big and bowl-shaped, like our moon, while others are smaller and look like space rocks. Some planets in our solar system have no moons, like Mercury and Venus. Other planets have small moons like Mars. And the giant planets have many, many moons, with 82 moons. Saturn has the most moons in our solar system. ESA landed a robot on Titan, Saturn's largest moon. It was truly an amazing voyage. Moons are really fascinating worlds with many mysteries to be uncovered. The next big ESA exploration mission, called the Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer or JUICE, will help scientists determine if there is liquid water under the icy surfaces of the moon. Where there is liquid water, there could be life. Exciting. So Paxi, now that we've talked about natural satellites, let's take a look at artificial or human-made satellites. Artificial satellites are machines designed by humans to orbit another object in space. There are approximately 3,000 active artificial satellites in orbit around the Earth right now. Artificial satellites are very important to our daily lives on Earth. Without them, we wouldn't have TV, GPS, phone calls, or internet, among many other things. Many satellites carry cameras and scientific sensors that can help scientists learn about the Earth. Since they fly high above the clouds, satellites can see a lot more of our planet than we can from the ground and provide scientists with data about the Earth that can help us protect it. Actually, we're inside an artificial satellite right now, the International Space Station. The ISS is the only artificial satellite where humans are able to live and work all year round is also the largest satellite ever to be built and launched into orbit around the Earth. Some satellites orbiting the Earth look away for, from our planet to study the solar system and the universe. Some satellites even orbit other bodies in Earth, like the Sun and other planets, especially Mars. So as you can see, Paxi, both natural and artificial satellites have very important purposes and goals. Without them, both of our lives would be significantly different. Can you imagine a life without our moon or Wi-Fi? Thanks for joining me and see you next time.